There's one genre of video games that we don't see a shitload of, and that's probably a good thing because it could be oversaturated. I mean, look at zombie games. Granted, I'm not saying all zombie games are a problem or anything. There's some that are good, but zombie games have kind of oversaturated gaming these days. Well, that genre is westerns. Over the years in gaming, there's been a handful of different western games out there. Gunsmoke, Red Dead Revolver, Sunset Riders, Red Dead Redemption, Call of Juarez. One game I see talked about quite a bit, but I don't think it gets the praise that it deserves is Gun. Now, I wouldn't say this game is a hidden gem, but I don't think a lot of gamers know about it. Gun was developed by Neversoft Entertainment and published by Activision. It was originally released on the PlayStation 2, PC, and Xbox in 2005, and was even a launch title for the Xbox 360. I actually first picked this game up on the PlayStation 2 back in 2006. It was a birthday gift from my parents. And then later on, about three years later, I picked up the PC version for very cheap. Now, the story of Gun goes like this. In 1880, Colton White and his father, Ned, are out hunting along the Missouri River. After Colton saves Ned's ass from a grizzly bear, they board a riverboat to sell meat. Along the way, Colton notices that Ned has other reasons for boarding this boat. And they are suddenly attacked by a preacher named Reverend Josiah Reed and his renegade soldiers. Cole and Ned are pushed to the back of the boat while wiping out some of these renegade soldiers. Ned tells Colton to go find a whore named Ginny in Dodge City. Ned reveals he is not Colton's real father. Sadly, the steamboat explodes, and Colton learns that everyone aboard the steamboat were murdered by renegades and, of course, the explosion. Gun features a variety of characters ranging from Colton White, Soapy Jennings, a friend of Colton's, and Safecracker, Thomas Magruder, the main antagonist of the game, Mayor Hoodoo Brown, Clay Allison, and more. The game is set in an open-world environment, which includes a main story and side missions that add to the story. The game is in third-person view, which is pretty cool. It makes it a third-person action slash shooter slash whatever the hell you want to call it not only that you travel town to town and the game is set in the american old west around arizona colorado kansas and new mexico and there's even towns wooded areas rivers streams and of course mountains the story is written by randall johnson who is also a hollywood screenwriter for such movies like the mask of zorro sunset strip and even episodes of tales from the crypt he has also done music videos for henry rollins black flag and more so he's done a lot of dog shit other than tales from the crypt now some of the things outside of the missions you will do is fight in duels, defend towns from bandits, build railway tracks, intervene in conflicts, and earn money as well. Not only that, you can play poker in a casino, help out farmers with livestock, help out the local sheriff, or deliver items with the Pony Express. You can hunt animals, mine for gold, and even do rescue missions too. Technically, there are some RPG elements in this game, which involves acquiring and improving skills, and of course those skills include quick draw, zoom firing, melee combat, accuracy, ability to throw axes, upgrade different weapons, and more. Speaking of weapons, there are knives, tomahawks, bayonets for melee weapons, and then there are explosives like dynamite and whiskey bombs, regular guns like sharpshooters, rifles, colts, and winchesters. There's even TNT barrels scattered around, so if there's a group of enemies around them, you can use the barrels to set traps or throw them and use the quick draw mode and shoot them and blow them up. Now, quick draw mode enters first person and it slows down time. I guess you could say it's like bullet time in Max Payne, but in first person. And I really love this aspect of the game. Of course, you've seen this in later games like Red Dead Redemption. There is a quick draw gauge that fills up when attacking and killing enemies, so make sure you have that gauge filled up all the time. You can also use enemies as a human shield, so if there's a lot of enemies around, you can do that. And if you really want to fuck them up, you can slit their throats or just knock them out if there's a bounty on said enemy. If you have a scalping knife, you can scalp the son of a bitch, which is pretty crazy. Now, not only are there RPG elements, but stealth is heavily involved with many missions throughout the game. You are encouraged to use bows, melee weapons, and so on, too. Now, to get around to all these areas, you can walk, but your best bet is to get a horse. It's much easier and faster to get around and quite fun, too. There is even some horseback combat you can get involved with, and even fast-paced chases. You could shoot while riding the horse and even trample enemies if needed. The graphics for Gun are not bad at all. Granted, they do look outdated, but the open world design is great, the environment looks really good, the characters look great and are well detailed for the time, the wildlife looks great, and of course the explosions and everything are really good. There is quite a bit of gore in this game, especially when you do headshots with the rifle. Their heads just explode. The game doesn't slow down, glitch, or anything like that. Nothing to really complain about. Now, the music is fucking great and fits the game. It has that western feel to it, and I really like it a lot. Granted, I won't say it's the most 
most mind-blowing music in video games, but at the end of the day, I really like it. The sound effects are good, ranging from the ambient sounds, the noises of wildlife, the gunfire, explosions, and everything. Very well done and not sloppy garbage. The voiceover work is damn good. Fits the story very well, and they're done by actual celebrity actors. Colton White is voiced by Thomas Jane, who played the Punisher in the 2004 remake. Chris Christopherson is a country musician and actor, and he's the voice actor of Ned White. Brad Dorif, who you should know from his best work as Chucky in the Child's Play series, plays Reverend Josiah Reed, and you can actually hear the Chucky voice in there, which is pretty cool. Ron Perlman plays Mayor Hoodoo Brown. Lance Henriksen is Thomas Magruder. Tom Skerritt is Clay Allison. And there are more. And it's pretty damn cool they got a good list of celebrities to do the voiceover work in this game. I really like that. Kind of reminds me of, like, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto Vice City, where they had a really interesting cast of actors and even musicians. The controls for the PC version are okay. There are some issues here and there. Sometimes I feel they can be a little slow at responding, especially when you're on the horse. Also, looking around with your mouse, that can be a little frustrating because it moves a bit quick. And if you don't play on PC very often, this could be an issue. Personally, I move around with the WSAD keys, aim with the mouse, shoot with the left mouse button, right button is to use my melee weapon, and pretty much it's the default settings. I just wish the controls were a little bit more responsive here and there on certain things. But for the most part, I can't complain a ton. I'm hit! Wing the son of a bitch! Ugh. Gun is a pretty damn good game. I really enjoyed this game back when I first picked it up. The story is damn good, the gameplay is fun, it's action-packed, the open world layout is great, the graphics are very well done, the music and sound effects are great, the voiceover work is badass, the controls with a few flaws here and there are okay. For the most part, this game is fucking awesome. I do wish the game was a little bit longer. I personally feel it's a bit short, but the game is still fucking great, and if you like games with an old western theme, definitely check out Gun if you haven't. Now, if you want to pick it up right now. There are physical copies on eBay and they range from $7.99, $4.99, $14.99 and some prices in between, which is not bad at all. You can find the game digitally on GOG and Steam for $19.99, which to be honest with you, it's a little bit expensive. I'd figure it would be down to $9.99 or even $12.99, but then again, $20 bucks is not too bad, it's just I wish it was cheaper. There is a PSP version of Gun titled Gun Showdown and it features new side missions, multiplayer mode, and other additions that were not in the console versions. I always thought it was a sequel, but I remember a friend telling me a while back that it was the same game other than a few add-ons. You know what I really want? A sequel or even a new story. That would be fucking awesome. But sadly, Neversoft is no longer around. Now you're probably thinking, man, where have I heard Neversoft from? Well, they were the ones that did the early Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. And even before Tony Hawk Pro Skater, they did MDK, Skeleton Warriors, Apocalypse, and then some other games in between, they did Spider-Man on the PlayStation. And after Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, they got into the Guitar Hero series. Now, the studio was merged with Infinity Ward in May of 2014, and then was officially defunct in July of 2014. Thanks, Activision. So sadly, I don't think we're going to ever see a new gun game unless somebody buys the rights to it or maybe Activision will pull their heads out of their ass and have a developer make a new game. And even that, I'd feel very skeptical about it. I hope you enjoyed this review of Gun on the PC. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All clear. And Ned tells Colton to go find a whore, and Ned tells <laughs> and Ned tells Colton <laughs> randomly, go find a whore. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking horrible. <laughs> and Ned tells Colton to go find a whore named Jenny. <laughs> just randomly. Wouldn't that be something if they put that in the game? He's like, just turns to Colton and goes, Colton, go find a whore named Jenny. <laughs> Uh, that's some Forrest Gump shit there. Jenny. <laughs> and then reveals he is not Colton's father. <laughs> shit, I fucked that up. And then reveals that he's not Colton's father. When it comes to 21-year-old Cole, Ned, you are not the father. Gun features a variety of characters ranging from Colton wife... Colton wife? <laughs> Gun features... God damn it. You control... Uh, you control Colton... <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at this shit. Uh, Neversoft ceased operations. N never sauce. Never sauce. Never sauce. Never put sauce on the sauce. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.